हे हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल दिस इज प्रवीण हेयर आई होप यू गाइज आर एक्सट्रीमली डूइंग गुड सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट हाउ यू कैन क्लियर योर मैनेजरियल राउंड यू गो राउंड वन यू गो राउंड टू यू गो राउंड थ्री बट इन राउंड फोर ड्यूरिंग द मैनेजर राउंड यू समटाइम्स गेट फम्बल यू समटाइम्स गेट सिचुएशन बेस्ड क्वेश्चन लाइक हाउ यू हैव रिजॉल्व अ कॉन्फ्लिक्ट राइट ड्यूरिंग योर योर लेट से डेमो एंड हाउ यू हैव ओवरकम दैट सो दीज काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन रिली पुट यू इन टू सम काइंड ऑफ अप्स एंड डाउन एंड देर आर द चांसेस यू आर गेटिंग रिजेक्टेड सो मेक श्योर यू आर वॉचिंग द वीडियो टिल द एंड वेर वी विल बी कवरिंग एंटायर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ सिचुएशन बेस्ड क्वेश्चन when a manager can ask at what time right so stay tuned like the video if you are liking the content going ahead and subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel and yes we are having the 30 days of advanced fire playlist which is coming on august 1st so stay tuned on the channel and uh, definitely watch all those videos because it's going to be on the next level advanced things so let's start with some of the questions so these are the questions which i have got from my various previous organizations let's take your amazon atlassian right so from there i have taken on some of this questions so i'll be telling how you can answer this questions when you have been given such kind of scenarios so let's think like this uh, you are giving a demo and suddenly there is a critical feedback critical in the sense there is a negative feedback on you from your colleague and how you have worked on it right so these are some questions and you need to tell in terms of star format right situation what was the task what was the action and what was the reaction right so in terms of star format you need to tell every question so that the panelist or the manager knows okay what are the phases you have gone through so let's think in this example right critical feedback it means negative feedback from your colleague and how you have worked upon it so let's think like this uh, so suppose i have received this question i'll be telling in in terms of like this yes i have been given sometimes this kind of feedback but i have worked on it in a positive note uh, so during my demo times as we are working in a devops and sre team we were sometimes trying to give demos right during the initial phase of the sprint it was really good no design changes were there no no one has told anything in terms of design phase but it when it took to the when i took to the demo phase my colleagues were asking several questions in the demo time where it made me little bit low but yeah at the same time i made sure i do all the points to be noted in front of everyone so that when i go and resolve those queries into my code i make sure i come with the proper things what my team is expecting right and basically here you are not telling him like it is a negative but you are telling him that okay that is a good feedback i will be incorporating into that and i will be making sure i work on that so here situation was you are giving a demo on a critical thing on a on a major project or let's take like, like pipeline demo and someone is commenting right from your team and what is the task again you are working on let's take the the chatbot or let's take the ci cd pipeline kubernetes onboarding something like this action what are what is the action in terms of your uh, let's take like what was the action in terms of uh, you are making sure you become a positive way out of that negative feedback you have written down your feedback on the paper and you make sure you are completing in the second task right and reaction you say humbly like thank you for giving the efforts or giving this opportunity right and definitely we will be coming back with the positive note so let's take like this have you ever helped your peer let's take you are uh, basically going for a higher position so definitely they should be checking in you the leadership quality so here it is basically checking of your leadership qualities how good you were in helping your peers when it comes to peers your parallel level your above level your down level right juniors seniors your same level people come under this peer category right you can tell any of the situation right so you, uh, let's think like that there were some juniors who have been onboarded into your team and how well you have guided let's think like this uh, he you you can tell him like okay yes i have guided them by making sure i gave all the conference pages i gave all the documents i make sure uh, two to three times i sit with them closely work on the things like where they are having the uh, issues the design diagrams right making sure the end to end complete flow they know right so here the situation is someone is joining new to your team what are the task basically you have you have to guide the juniors right now what is the action you make sure you gave the documents in terms of everything you explained them the design diagram
diagrams you make sure you took that buddy to the other teams in order to make sure they also mingle with other teams because devops is all about helping various teams right and uh, there can be an action item star so the action is basically uh, in terms of how good you are making that junior to come pace to the team right so that is what your uh, your reaction should be and how well you are executing the task so some of these things really make us comfortable but at the times let's think like this the manager is cross, cross questioning us okay Praveen now let's think like this your junior is not at all performing the task now how will you overcome that so again you should be making sure like you t tell them in terms of very flexible way right you you should tell them like okay I will give him the point of contacts first of all in order to test his skills in order to make sure like how well he is getting gelled with other teams and getting info right so you can tell them like I will give conference pages I will give the internal company slack channel i will give internal companies your stack overflows everything whatever the person is needed in order to make sure the work is done if at all he misses somewhere i will be there to guide him if at all the level two right where you he is not able to help then i will be going and jumping into that phase and i will be helping him completely right so basically there is one more question let's think like this tell me what your manager told negative point about you so never you should reveal any kind of negativity about you but in order to make sure you convert that negative into positive way right so you can tell them the like so yes there were a few instances when my manager has told me this feedback so basically i was looking for where you can say like I want to excel in my career. So always I had one to one meetings with my manager. So every time he used to tell me like, okay, Praveen, you have to work on something new. Okay, Praveen, you have to work on some new deliverables. You have to increase the developer productivity. When it comes to developer productivity, it means that you as a person, how you are helping the developers in order to increase their productivity, right? So always you can tell like this frame and you can tell them like how you have worked upon this. Suppose I have created a chatbot, right? And and even my batch one batch two batch three students have gone through the chatbot projects right so what i will tell is okay there was no team having like creation of the jira tickets you pitch in there and you worked on that and you created the chatbot to have the jira tickets in place right so with this what is happening you are reducing the developer effort time basically right whenever they are coming in someone from our team jumps into the on call helps them and comes back right so these are the things which you need to make sure so there is one more question very very interesting question so he, from this question they will check whether you are working in a pressure environment or not right so let's think like this you worked on a deadline and didn't had options before taking decision so here they are checking your leadership qualities here you, they are checking how well you can handle your pressure in the team uh, here they are checking how well you are gelled with the team and everything so you have worked on a deadline let's think like this there is a ci cd pipeline which has to be delivered by tomorrow for the production readiness right and every application which is designed has to be deployed in the uh, basically production and you are very very much on top of it you are working on that right and uh, in the meanwhile in the meanwhile there is a there is a thing where you notice that your pipeline build servers are not working properly right and so what you will do basically right and it's a major change where you need to change the golden ami itself right for this particular application and at last you came to know this so how you overcome this right and it is like tomorrow you have to give this pipeline to the development teams in order to make sure it is working end to end so how you go gonna take that decision right you go ahead create a golden ami with latest softwares make sure from that ami there is a build server coming out in aws ec2 instance and that build server you are getting attached to your uh, Jenkins build pipeline and making sure it is working and you make sure every time whatever you do the task you loop everyone in the email right because you didn't want it to tell anyone in order to save the constraint time but once you do this definitely send out an email which will create a positive note on you right so let, let's take one more example is there give me an example of calculated risk where speed was critical now this is one of the question where they will check whether you have worked on production deployments whether you have worked on on calls whether you have worked on p1 p0 incidents right so definitely you should say yes and you can quote any of your production issues which you have faced in the recent times and make sure while you while you focus on these things make sure you understand what is going to happen uh, when you tell in the star format right because once you say that there is a production issue which you have solved because of some uh, some memory issue cpu issue or pods getting restarted always 143 exit error right container is not getting started application itself is not up application was trying to find some ccm values it is not able to get it so all those things you need to make sure 
you are telling in a proper format because the counter question can also come where he can ask like okay how what is the production scenario how many teams were involved how you have uh, resolved that what is the root cause analysis for this basically whether you have the uh, documents in place who is maintaining that incident management you should be able to answer all of this basically right and uh, everything is to be very much clear you should be putting your thoughts in a very clear format so that people understand like what exactly they are going to do with with your candidature right there are many other questions let me tell you few in line wise right did you got a chance to convince customers for your work so definitely here our customers because we are in devops and sra team our customers are our application teams our customers are our let's take like direct product teams our customers are like our uh, let's take our application is having upstream and downstream right and uh, you have both the things in place so basically uh, our customers are both upstream and downstream applications so let's think like this there is a task in our our slack channel where a user is coming and telling to us like uh, praveen i need this at the end of the day right and uh, you know that that task really needs some little bit extension of time and you also know that it's basically a major change which has to be involved in upstream and downstream application of teams so basically you need to make sure that how you convince better in order to get some extra days of working right on that particular task but always the developer teams are always ahead and they always think like okay i have done with my work i need this particular thing to be in production very soon right or i need to co complete this as sap right they tell like this so on top of it how you make sure you are on top of it so basically you need to tell them like how you have convinced basically you should tell a pointers like okay this task takes this much time and it involves upstream and downstream applications so you should be involving all the teams together and definitely it will take some of the time right so there is one more question tell me you put time significant outside your work here again he checks that how good you are in terms of uh, utilizing your time how good you are in terms of making sure you are giving some time on your job at the same time on your personal life also so here you can tell you have completed some kind of certifications you are part of corporate social uh, social responsibility so basically csr wings are there in every organization you can tell them like you have hosted some events hosted internal team events make sure you had uh, some uh, some kind of team collaboration activities which you you basically organized and planned so these kind of things comes into this now if any manager wants to hire me as a praveen right praveen singham baldi now if i give all this answers what do you think comment down in the comment section below and make sure you are liking the video right we have completed most of the managerial questions which can be asked for a devops and sre person and i think uh, beyond this if anything comes in i hope you have understood the pattern what you need to follow so definitely stay tuned on the channel because from august 1st we are launching the fire playlist so check out the description for all the important links and make sure you are liking the video give a thumbs up this is praveen signing off